So hello everybody, uh, good afternoon. Uh, today, early this morning, I was revisiting this uh, book that is associated with the training course that I take. Um, I took uh, several years ago. You know, here's my certificate of completion from <laughs> the X Software as a Service in June 2017. Okay. So I wanted uh, to revisit uh, a little bit. I am actually reading this book, and that's why I I, may, I am making this video in order for you, in order uh, for me to recommend this book for you. It's about software engineering. You will be you learn about a lot of concepts related uh to software engineering and let me see uh, it's you know uh i was also trying to since you know you need to program in order to understand better these uh, books uh, i was able to also to you know update uh, some of the these applications uh, they are given uh, they are giving you this code for you to work on some assignments but they are using Ruby on Rails uh, from that point of time and now Ruby on Rails is on seven version seven so you need to update the code uh, most likely they will update the code because um, they are saying let me see oh here it is no the edX because you are <laughs> at this point of time you are you are not able to uh, register in this training course on edX and you know but still you can read the book i was reading the book uh, you can um, read the book without the training course uh, well, still, uh, this is uh, great news. These are great news. Uh, the edX course is currently being revisit, revisit and will be back in late 2024, 2024. So, I don't look, I probably <laughs> will enroll again. I, I'm not sure. I'm most likely not because I need to move on with another topics. And I was just uh, revisiting some little concepts that I wanted to see again well yeah that's it for this video and if you are in on the look for a software engineering uh, material this book is a great resource it's free the book is free i have this uh, pdf over here and let me see if we can see the contents you know test Driven development, TDD, an entire chapter for this topic. You know, this is amazing. Also, there is a behavior driven development. At that point of time, uh, I remember uh, seeing this for the first time. And at that point of time, I was only seeing this related to Ruby on Rails. So, uh, Ruby, uh, Ruby on Rails has, uh, has influenced other web frameworks you know the model view controller the rest where is it rest architecture there's another one that i want you to show you that it's very important for you to look at this refactoring enhancing legacy software as they say, you will certainly work with legacy software if you join a company, which is true. And uh, DevOps, this, this is a great book. Where is this list? Uh, oh, here, here they are. Uh, the solid architecture, uh, and single responsibility principle. And you know, this, uh, these terms come a lot in job interviews i don't like uh, to memorize things anymore i don't you know i don't 
there's no need for you to pretend to be an encyclopedia these days. Uh, you know, there's, you can always uh, see the books or the internet. And I suppose at this point of time, uh, it's more important uh, to grasp some skills, some reasoning, like Introduction to Mathematical Thinking. It's a great book. And I am on the middle of it. It's quite uh, challenging for me. <laughs> but uh, I'm making my way throughout it. Uh, so that's my opinion, of course. You can disagree with that. And I suppose in the future, things will change drastically. And um, so in order to not make this video that long, uh, that's it. Uh, engineering software as a service uh, by Armando Fox and David Patterson. This is a Turing Award recipient, and this is a great uh, instructor. Also, probably some re awards. Uh, I remember uh, learning a lot from these uh, videos, from the videos from these guys. You know? So, this is a great uh, high quality. Uh, a book I really recommend to you, recommend it to you. So thank you very much. And, you know, like, happy coming. <laughs> Bye.